And so when the Church of England imposed this harsh penalty upon people who practice Christmas, they moved it to New Year's Eve. Now New Year's Eve historically in the North was known as Hogmanay. Originally the New Year for the Romans was March 1st. That was the New Year, not January 1st. So all of you who on January 1st, where was I on January 1st? You're waiting for the light to go up in uh, uh, Times Square. The reality is the Romans, for the Romans, March 1st was the beginning of the year. And, and, and when you look at the number seven in Latin, you find Septem. So September was the seventh month, October, November, December. And, and so you find that the Latin words for these last uh, months, October, November, December, eight, nine, and 10. So these weren't the last months of the year. It was eight, nine, and 10. And so what actually happened was when they imposed the new year on January, it is for the ancient uh, god or their so-called god called Janus, the two-faced god, two faces, who shows you one face and behind it is another face, the master hypocrite. And so this is what is going on at this occasion. And we find now that on January 1st, right on that evening, December 31st, when it changes, you find you know, people are usually drinking. They're involved in some sexual activity at that time. The whole concept of Jesus and monotheism is lost. It is the other religion. 